for this race? Uh, yeah, feeling really good leading into Kona this weekend. Uh, tra training's gone really well. I've been training with Jan Fredino and Nick Castellan up in Girona most of the season and um, raced really well four weeks ago at the 70.3 World Champs. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing seeing what happens. I, seem, I feel like I've recovered well and absorbed the training. But it's Kona, so it's a very tough day. Uh, the, yeah, the weather, the, the conditions and, and the competition, of course. But I'm going to go out there, race my race, and hopefully I can come away with a, with a full distance Ironman race that I'm pr proud of. What's your goal? Uh, to be honest, I don't really have an outcome goal. A top five would be amazing. Um, but I, for, for me, more importantly, just uh, be have a good swim, feel good, feel good on the bike, and, and strong at the end of the bike, and be able to keep keep my keep my uh, keep keep my shit together, keep it together on the on the run, and uh, and be strong around the energy lab and back to town. Do we, do you expect some strategy like? Like somebody really attacking the bike, or you have feelings that everybody is going to follow uh, from now? Uh, I mean, it's going to be it's going it's, it's going to be interesting the dynamic of the race. I mean, you've got uh, Marco Albert, Frodo, and Andy Potts who are all very strong swimmers. Um, so potentially they could get away and, and disappear right from the start. Uh, but then that that chase group is going to be pretty big out of the water, and that group moves very fast down the Queen K. So uh, I'm not sure how how yeah how much ground they'll make up and how quickly but uh, then you got Sebastian and Lionel Sanders uh, the, who will be catching from the back but the big thing with this race is just just having to race your own race because I think if you go go too hard too early on the bike you'll you'll pay the price for that so you got a lot of success in 70 70.3 and, <laughs> and Iron Man was like a, like yeah yeah <laughs> not average but you know yeah, I am no. low. <laughs> so do, do you think that you you're starting to, to get more confident on, on the distance, or it was more like bad luck and... Um, well, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping that, that I have developed a lot over Ironman distance, and I, mean, I raced in Kona in 2009 and 2010. I uh, started here two years ago, but didn't finish, and I'm just hoping... I mean, I've learned a lot, and I, I feel very strong. I feel uh, probably the freshest I've ever felt leading into this race. So I just hope that I can put it together on the day and, and have, a, yeah, have a race that I'm proud of. But it's uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. I can race four seventy point threes back to back, and it's not a problem. But yeah, yeah, I do double the distance on one day. I've I've really struggled. Yeah. So anything you want to add? Ah uh, no no, I think it's. But the team. Ah oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's yeah. I mean, we we're here at the Bahrain Endurance 13 function, and it's great to be a part of this team. That we've got a great camaraderie ship between the athletes. We always look out for each other and, and help each other where we can. Uh, Sheikh Nassar bin Hamad Al Khalifa, he's he's an inspiration. What he's what he's doing for development of youth and and promoting healthy living in Bahrain and the Middle East is is great to be a part of. I'm very passionate about helping the youth. Have a lot of youth charities back home that, that I help out with, and uh, and he's shown that he's really into triathlon his younger brother uh, Khalid is also I mean he's a keen athlete he's uh, he actually swam from Saudi Arabia to Bahrain and we were there to witness that and uh, he's into MMA now but uh, it's great to be yeah, great to be a part of this family and I just wish the whole team all the best for the weekend so yeah last question like you've been like in ITU like not for a long time <laughs> so are you, are you still like enjoying watching the sport or, or like you really don't care about ITU well, no I, I love watching Watching ITU racing, and whenever I watch it, I part of me is like, oh, I want to go back and, and yeah. race ITU again. But like Maka. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Maka tried to make the comeback, but uh, I mean, those guys are so fast. Watching the Olympic Games, the the Brownleys, it was amazing. I, I've got, I've got a younger brother as well. He's two years younger, and and uh, when we were growing up in high school, uh, he he did triathlon, and he went on a running scholarship to America. And I just, uh, watching the Olympics, Alistair and Johnny, I thought oh, it'd be great to be able to share a moment like that with my brother, but uh, that's not going to happen because he drinks too much beer now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's, uh, I think I'm going to do Island House Triathlon in, in a few weeks' time, and yes, we'll see if there's still some speed in the, in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks. Thank you.